Hi everyone, welcome to Two Broke Watch Snobs. My name is Aaron. Today we're going to be talking about the Nomos Zurich. The uh, Zurich, the World Timer, is Nomos's most complicated watch, and it's their second most expensive watch in the collection underneath the precious metal Lambda. Um, the Zurich is a World Timer in name, but it really serves more as a uh, kind of a fancy GMT, if you will. Along the perimeter of the dial, you have this recessed city ring, and then at three o'clock, you have a 24-hour disc. So as you travel, you adjust the city ring to, to match your current time zone, wherever you are, wherever you get off the plane, but you'll notice the 24-hour dial remains the same. So you're always able to see what time it is at home, which is always here, and then you adjust the exterior city ring dial to match whatever time zone you are uh, traveling to. You'll notice that this is a dateless watch, so there's no date. The only AM and PM indicator is here at three o'clock for your home time. Um, the dial is also loomless, so between loomless dial, polished hands, and a fully polished case, I feel like this watch trends a little bit more into the dress watch aesthetic than something that would be more like a tool watch, although it is definitely a traveler's watch to be sure. The Zurich is powered by Nomos's in-house DUW5201 movement. Um, Nomos chose to showcase this movement through this sapphire crystal case back, and I think it's a really good choice on their part. Um, you'll notice the trademark starburst on the uh, the winding uh, uh, wheel here, as well as the traditional three-quarter Glashuta plate design that you see in other brands like Glashuta Original or Langa or something like that. Um, this watch has a 42-hour power reserve, and this movement has also been adjusted to six positions. Um, the case itself is just under 40 millimeters, and it wears really nice and flat at a case thickness of just under 11 millimeters thick. I would say the one downside to the case size is the lug to lug on this watch is easily 50 millimeters. Generally speaking, um, Nomos watches tend to wear a little larger than the case numbers might suggest. So typically I advise folks who are looking at Nomos to probably size down from what they would expect they would want. So for example, if you were looking at a Nomos Club and you're used to wearing like a 38 or 40 millimeter watch, I would recommend stepping down to maybe even like the Club 36 millimeter or something along those lines. Um, the Nomos comes on a Shell Cordovan leather strap. Uh, Shell Cordovan is known for its durability, its longevity. It's a strap that's gonna last a long, long, long time if you take care of it. And uh, Nomos does a really good job. They partner with another brand to make these straps, but they are branded for, uh, for them specifically. They're really high quality. Um, I would recommend using their straps even on other watches if you wanted to. Um, from a pro-con perspective on the World Timer, I think that it is a beautiful and interesting GMT or, or traveler's watch. It's nice to be able to just advance the city ring, get an idea of what time it is somewhere else, somewhere that you might be headed, or when you are traveling, it's really nice to be able to quickly adjust as you jump off of a plane or something like that. Um, I also think in terms of a complication, it's just really, it's just a really interesting implementation of something like this, of a quick adjust local hour hand. Um, it did take me a while to kind of understand how this worked before I bought it, but once I got to the store and I was able to kind of play with it a little bit, I knew that this was something that I was gonna really enjoy. Um, Nomos does build a pusher adjustment onto the side of the case here. And in the box, this comes this really like well-designed pusher tool. This is to adjust the local hour without turning the city ring. So for daylight savings times or adjusting to time zones where you might be headed that don't have a daylight savings time, that's essentially how you would compensate for that. Um, generally speaking, I think that the dial of the World Timer just has a ton of dimension to it. You have your textured uh, sub-seconds uh, uh, register here, plus your 24-hour time, home time wheel that's overlaid over the city wheel along the perimeter. 
it's just an interesting watch that gives a lot of visual appeal when you look at it. There's a lot to see, there's a lot to take in, and this is something that people notice on my wrist at least. Um, and with that being said, I think that this is a very unique watch. Um, it would be unlikely that you would run into somebody else wearing one of these outside of maybe a, a, a watch show or something like that. Um, again, there's that really beautiful German movement there. From a negatives perspective, it's big. The, the, the 50 millimeter lug to lug um, is gonna be tricky on some wrist sizes. My, my wrist size is just about seven inches and um, it suits me fine, but it's kind of on the top end of what I could comfortably wear. Um, another downside would be the water resistance. I think this is like, it doesn't even say on the back, it is splash resistant just to maybe three atmospheres. Um, so this isn't gonna be something that you're gonna wanna jump in the water with, that you're gonna wanna not pay attention to when you have it again. I think this Nomos watch, along with a bunch of others in their collection, really trends towards sort of the dress watch side of the equation. Um, another thing that, that I don't really see as a negative, but it's something to keep in mind, is the case is entirely polished. So again, more of a dress watch, dress watch watch, but it will take on wear if you're not careful with it. Um, if you bought this watch wanting a true world timer, that's not what this is going to be. A true world timer, you would set it to your local time and then the wheel would continue to tick and you'd be able to see at a glance what time it is anywhere in the world just by looking at your watch. This is not what that is. Like I said, this is kind of a push button GMT with the world city disc complication as well. Um, I like the implementation of this. It's simple. It is uh, useful for a like a, a jumping hour GMT perspective, but if you were looking for a watch and you wanted a true world timer, unfortunately this would not be it. Um, and kind of the last negative that I would kind of state on the Nomos would be in the States, it's quite expensive. I had the opportunity to buy this in Germany in Glashuta from Nomos's factory store, and it was several thousand dollars cheaper there than it is here, brand new from an AB. Um, in the States, if you go to Nomos' website right now and you wanted to purchase this watch, it's $6,100 on the leather strap. So it can be quite the investment. But otherwise, I do think that it's a really appealing uh, watch. The blue dial is my favorite. They do also make a white dial. Um, and I think that it would be an interesting addition to anybody's collection. So yeah, there's the Nomos World Timer. Thanks a lot, and keep an eye on the Two Broke Watch Snobs channel for more reviews.